Hi, I'm Dr. Nivedita Kamaraj, infertility specialist and cosmetic gynecologist. So today let's talk about emergency contraception. Um, so the most common question is when should you use emergency contraception? So emergency contraception can be used if you've had an unplanned or unprotected intercourse or if you're a victim of sexual abuse or if you've had a failure in any of the conventional contraceptive methods you've used. For example, you've had a toned condom or if you missed your 21 day pill, you can use an emergency contraceptive option. What are the types? There are two types of emergency contraception. One is a hormonal pill and the other is an intrauterine device. So let's talk about the emergency contraceptive pill. There are two types of pills available. The first being a levonorgestrel pill. The second being a nulipristol acetate pill. So um, when can you use these pills and how do they work? You can use this pill within 72 hours of having an unprotected and unplanned intercourse and it usually delays your ovulation or it prevents ovulation. Side effects of pills. Yes, it can have side effects. So the side effects could be either uh, feeling a feeling of lightheadedness, a little bit of headache. You might have a minor cramping in your lower abdomen, or you might have irregular bleeding or an intramenstrual bleeding as well. Uh, so, uh, is there any other uh, long-term complications or fertility complications because of an emergency contraception? So the most important thing is never use an emergency contraception as a regular conventional contraceptive method. It can be used only in emergencies if it's not used regularly there are no major long-term or any uh, long-term fertility complications as well intrauterine device and its types uh, there are two types of intrauterine devices as well there's a copper t and there are some hormonal intrauterine devices as well both can be used for emergency contraception so when can you use an intrauterine device? Intrauterine devices are also supposed to be used within the first 72 hours or at least within the first 5 days after an unprotected or an unplanned intercourse. Contraindications and side effects that you can use it if you do not have any sexually transmitted diseases or if you're not having any uterine infections or if you're not having an active infection of any form uh, around the vagina or in the uterus. Do um, intrauterine devices have long-term complications or a lot of side effects? They do have side effects such as heavy menstrual bleeding. You might have some uh, mild discomfort in your lower abdomen or you might have irregular cycles for quite some uh, period of time. And uh, some women experience chronic pain after having an intrauterine device, but it is very subjective. But what if I face some scenarios? So in case of different scenarios, for example, you've taken the emergency contraceptive pill, but you've ended up vomiting it within the first two hours, then it's important to either repeat the tablet again or to meet a doctor and choose another intrauterine device or some other option of emergency contraception. The other option is if you're using a conventional tablet or a 21 day hormonal tablet for contraception and you've missed one pill, then it's important that you take your emergency contraception within the first 72 hours. And within the 12 hours of taking the emergency contraception, you'll have to restart your uh, 21 day tablet again. Take home message. So the take home message is, Within the first 72 hours of uh, having an unprotected or an unplanned intercourse, you'll have to plan your emergency contraceptive option. It can be either an intrauterine device or it can be an emergency contraceptive pill. This is not an abortion pill or an abortion method. It is just to prevent a pregnancy which is unplanned. Thank you.